Alright, so today I'll be showing you guys how I do my Twixter and this is the clip I'll be using. So anime clips always have a lot of duplicate frames. So we're gonna start by removing all of those. So just go forward till you see movement, you see the character moves here. And then just split the clip. Then just keep on doing this. Okay, and then we want to make all of these one frame long, just go forward one frame and trim the end of the clip. You can also split it and then, then delete this part, but trimming is a lot faster. Okay, then you wanna select the track and then select all of the frames and press close gaps to put them all in a row. This and now we can't apply Tweakster to it since all of these are like se separated so we need to just highlight it and press ctrl x to cut them out and then go to a new project file and press ctrl v to paste them in here and you need to make sure that this project has the same settings as your other one then just go back to the main project file and you want to drag in the project file that has all of the frames into this one and now it will be a whole clip instead this is basically like pre-composing then I'll just drag it out to the last marker now we can add Twixter, so just search for Twixter and I'll be using Twixter Pro since it has more settings. So I'll just apply that, then you can copy my settings. And now you wanna animate frame, first you have to make sure that the time remap is on frame number instead of speed. Frame number is a lot better because you can choose exactly on what frame it will start and end and where it, where it will be in the middle. It's just way easier to do time remapping. But for a basic tweakster we just wanna choose now the frame we want it to end on go one frame back from the end of the clip and I think we have like 20 24 frames maybe okay now 23 okay so we have 23 frames you could also choose to end it like on the 22nd frame if I wanted to but I'll do 23. So now we have just regular tweakster without any time remapping. So 
now I wanna make it so that at the middle she like moves the mask to the side so I'll find the frame I want like here somewhere and that's the like ninth or tenth frame put the ninth but then her hair like suddenly appears here and that can warp so I'll just do the tenth frame so the hair is up here and now we can see that at the middle it'll be on this frame if you wanted to do the same with the time remapping as speed then we'd have to like test different different values for the speed and hope that we get the right one but this is just easier and faster now i want to make it a bit more subtle so i'll go back like six frames from this and i want to make it like where where she moves down so here on the third frame so six frames back and then i'll put the third frame here so now she moves down and then when she starts to move up it'll be like here yeah so it's a bit more subtle now Then I want to do the same at the end, where the hair starts moving back. I want to do like here somewhere, then make it fast. So That's the 15th frame, so I'll go back 6 frames. And then make this the 15th frame. I'll just test it. Okay, so 15th and the 16th like this okay so the 15th yeah and now we'll have this still doesn't look that good so we're gonna add some fades to our keyframes so I'll, I'll add a fast fade at the start so it's fast and then it becomes slower and then I want to make this one a slow fade was from fast to slow then continues as slow and then becomes fast at the end here then I'll make this one a fast fade so it goes from slow to fast and then continues at fast and becomes slower where the hair moves up and then I'll make this one a slow fade so it goes from slow, continues at slow, and then becomes fast at the end. You don't have to do it like this, but... And this looks pretty good. The reason I'm not using manual fades for this is because the curve is basically just a line, so it's impossible to see how to drag it, but it, when I use speed then I'd like make a graph but it's still still I think it gets a much better result when when you use the frame number for the time remap and there's hardly any warps here there's the hair warps a bit but you can't really see it But yeah, that's basically it.